All right. Chelsea picking up a narrow win against Crystal Palace, thanks to Palace Loney, Conor Gallagher at the death. What did you make of Potter's Premier League debut? What did you notice that worked? And what did you notice that didn't work right away? And what are the positive signs that you saw? It's hard. I, I still think they look a little bit like strangers. I've used that uh, in, in the very beginning. I've used that with Tuchel. And, and you know, if you look at Potter, I mean, the system was similar to Tuchel. However, you read that. It was, again, 2-2, two, two, you know, 4-1, because we can't forget about the goalkeeper. 1-4, uh, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. It, it was morphing, right? There is no systems in the Premier League. We see hybrids everywhere. And, and I've stopped talking about systems of play because you see one, or at least you think you see one, when the whistle blows. And then after that, I'm looking and it's all over the place because, yeah, you have a system when you attack, you have a system when you defend, and even hybrids in between there. So, uh, uh, look, massive Aubameyang goal. You and I were talking about it. Most important player for Arsenal. In the last week's show, uh, he needs to get going. He needs to start scoring because uh, the psychology of them not being able to do that under, under two hole you know, would continue to some degree. So that's massive, uh, I suppose. I like the fact that he's looking for solutions and and Raheem Sterling playing on the right. I like that. I For years, I've been saying that every time I see him, and that's not been very often on the right side, I think he actually plays better. I've seen that with England. I've seen that with Manchester City. And I've seen that with Liverpool, I think. I'm, I'm reaching really bad, but I really like him more on the right than I like him on the left. I understand why on the left, because he, he comes in on his right foot. But anyway, so I like that. I like the fact that Havertz is being brought a little bit deeper, because ultimately that's his position. So I think, you know, a lot of positives there. But I think you and I have said last week that Chelsea need a win. And Potter needed a win. It doesn't matter how. They just need a couple of extra days of quiet. A couple of days where we're not going to talk about Potter. Is he experienced enough to play? I know the games are going to be coming thick and fast. Obviously, Champions League and big games coming up. Although they're scheduled right now, uh, I think there are two or three games coming up where, where you feel that Chelsea can go on a run a little bit. So, so the win and Conor Gallagher scoring against his old team very, very late. Christian Pulisic, I'm not going to make too much out of it. I know on this side of the pond, it's a massive, massive uh, thing. But but why not look at that as a positive? I mean, okay, he came in for 10 minutes. He sort of had an assist, let's be honest. I like his penetrating, yeah. but Conor Gallagher had so much to do there. And he did it, did it so brilliantly before he even uh, took that shot that I'm not going to uh, make this about Christian Pulisic, but why not? I mean, that will give him some confidence coming in and contributing in a in a 90-plus uh, win. So... So that's where we stop, and it could have gone sideways because Thiago Silva, although he was yeah. wonderful in the game, um, you know, we can talk about the penalty, I suppose. Or, I mean, not penalty, but should he be sent off? Should he, should he have been sent off? Obviously, because he was on the assist for Obama Yang's goal. Should he have been sent off? I understand the laws. Look, think about that. You know, first of all, it's, it's, it's football, not handball. I mean, twice he went with his, with his hand to stop the play. So think about that. He himself knew that this was a very good goal scoring opportunity. He knew it. Otherwise, he's not doing it. I mean, he grabbed it first with his hand and he went after it again to make sure that he stops, right? Look, we struggle with this because we're not supposed to look into intent. Say a penalty or handball in a penalty area. We, sh we should not judge the intent because we don't know it. Well, ironically, look at the intent. I mean, the intent was to stop the play, and Thiago Silva knew he was the last man, and he felt that, you know what, if I don't stop it this way, this is a chance for the opposition to score. And, you know, if that's not in the laws of the game, because I understand distance is, is part of it as well, then they should change that, because this is an intentional handball that shouldn't have a place in our game. And 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 so I get it why he wasn't, because now I'm made to look at the laws of the game, and it's still very gray, because how do I know that Jordan Ayew wasn't going to be able to go one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeepers? How do we know that? We don't know that. But yet we're being told that, no, that was too far. No, that player can't do it. No, Reese James is going to surely catch up with him. We don't know these things, right? So I think at, at the end of the day, I get the the laws of the game, but this this to me should have been a red card and a sending off if, if I was writing the rules. And even though I, I don't, I think even, even Graham Potter kind of said that, yeah, that's a 50-50, right? There you have it.
one more little nod, just as we were talking about positives. I suppose the fact that we were talking about Pulisic and Conor Gallagher gives a nod to the coach that he got his subs right because we're quick to call a manager when they don't. So could could we say that at a push? I think we should, even if, you know, sometimes it's luck, right? I mean, managers are the first to admit because because uh, journalists often go into, oh, yeah, he got his substitutions right. Well, listen, I mean, you're supposed to get your substitutions right. When you bring in a player, you're hoping that he's going to change the game. If you need a goal, you hope that they contribute in that. If you bring a defender, you hope that they go, he's going to help to shut the door and, and carry the result uh, that you have at the moment. So... Uh, but yeah, why take it away from him? These two players came in and made a significant difference. And Conor Gallagher against his whole, whole team, obviously probably extra motivated to some degree. But you can see how Conor Gallagher is going to be an important part for, for Potter. Because when you think about Brighton and the way they played under him and continue to play, that's a robust midfield. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.